Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. All praise is due to Allah alone. We praise Him, we thank Him, we seek His guidance and His forgiveness. We repent to Him. We seek refuge in Allah from the evil of our souls and our sinful deeds. Whoever Allah guides, none can mislead. And whoever Allah misleads, none can guide. Dear viewers, welcome to the best of knowledge. The scholars have said that the best of knowledge is the knowledge that will enable you to know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the most. The knowledge that will make you fearful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That will make you heedful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In this series, we'll be talking about the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in each episode, we'll be talking about one of Allah's attributes. One of Allah's exalted attributes. And we will discuss the impact of this attribute on our lives. And how we should conduct ourselves in light of that or this attribute. And today, inshallah ta'ala, we'll be talking about the provision of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah ta'ala in the Quran described himself to be the all provider. Allah ta'ala is the all provider. Inna Allah huwa al-razzaqu dhul quwwati al-mateen. Indeed, Allah is the all provider, the owner of power. The owner of power and the most strong, the all powerful. And in another hadith, the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam described Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be the a sustainer, the raziq. The Nabi sallallahu said, Inna Allah huwa al basitul raziq. Indeed, Allah ta'ala is the one who gives lavishly, the one who gives with a great extent. And Allah ta'ala is the sustainer. In Allah huwa al-basitul raziq. Furthermore, Allah Ta'ala is the best of sustainers. The best one who can sustain, who can sustain is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah in the Quran said, وَرُزُقُنَا O oh Allah, give us from your provision. O oh Allah, give us from your sustenance. وَأَنْتَ خَيْرُ الرَّازِقِينَ O oh Allah, you are the best of sustainers. Allah Ta'ala is the best sustainer. We all know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the all provider and the best sustainer. We all know that. But do we really believe in this? Do you believe that Allah ta'ala is the all provider? Do we see provision from that which is lawful and that which pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Or we seek provision from that which is unlawful and that will make Allah ta'ala, which will make Allah ta'ala angry of us? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called himself to be the all provider. Allah ta'ala in the Quran said, قُلْ مَنْ يَرْزُقُكُمْ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ وَالْأَرْضِ Who is providing you from the heaven and the earth but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? وَإِنَّا أَوْ إِيَّاكُمْ لَعَلَى هُدَى Either us or you are rightly guided or in a clear error. وَإِنَّا أَوْ إِيَّاكُمْ لَعَلَى هُدَى أو في ضلال مبين. So Allah Taala is the all provider. There are some principles about rizq that we need to comprehend, we need to understand, and we need to act upon. The first principle that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala named Himself to be the all provider. Allah called Himself to be the all provider. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the sound hadith said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or the hand of Allah is full of bounties, of full, is full of sustenance, full of provision. And then he said, أَلَمْ تَرَوْ مَاذَا أَنْفَقَ مُذْ خَلَقَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ Can't you see what he has spent since he has created the heaven and the earth? فَإِنَّ ذَلِكَ لَمْ يُغْضِ مَا فِي يَمِينِهِ All what he has spent since the, since the creation of the heaven and the earth did not decrease anything of his wealth. Anything of, his, of that which is in his hand. And the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the sound hadith as well said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said O oh my slaves O oh my slaves if all of you from the beginning of you Adam alayhi salam to the last person on earth if all of you were to come together and to stand together 
and every one of you asks me what he desires, and I gave him what he wants, all of that will not decrease an atom of my kingdom. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the all provider. And he is the most rich. Tabaraka wa taqaddas. And he named himself to be the all provider. Furthermore, a sign of his oneness that he provides the, the believers and he provide he provides for the believers and he provides for the disbelievers. When Ibrahim alayhi salam said to Allah, Oh Allah, make the city Mecca a region of security, a place of security, and give its people, the righteous one of them, the righteous one of them, give them a provision from you. Allah Ta'ala replied to him immediately saying, I will provide for the believers and I will provide for the disbelievers. وَإِذْ قَالَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ رَبِّ جَعَلْ هَذَا بَلَدًا آمِنًا When Ibrahim said, Oh Allah, make the city, Mecca, a city of security, and provide its people from the fruit, from the fruits. مَنْ آمَنَ مِنْهُمْ بِاللَّهِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ Give that to those who believed in you. Allah Ta'ala replies saying, قَالَ وَمَنْ كَفَرْ I will provide for them and I will provide the disbelievers. فَأُمَتِّعُهُ قَلِيلًا I shall provide for him in this life for a short comfort. And then, ثُمَّ أَطَّرُّهُ إِلَىٰ عَذَابِ النَّارِ وَبِئْسَ الْمَصِيرِ Then I will compel him to the hellfire, to the doom of the hellfire. May Allah save us all from the hellfire. So Allah Ta'ala is the all provider. And also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decreed that no soul shall die until it receives its full provision. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in the sound hadith that Jibreel alayhi salam came to me and told me that no soul shall die until it receives its full provision. So fear Allah and be reasonable in seeking provision. اتقوا الله وأجملوا في الطلب. Fear Allah and be reasonable in seeking provision because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not place His provision in that which is unlawful, that which is halal, which is haram. So Allah ta'ala will provide for you. Allah ta'ala has written your provision. And we have in the sound as well hadith that the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that the provision of the slave runs after him more than death is chasing him. So you will have your provision. I'm not calling you to stay, to stay at home and not to work and to wait for your provision. I'm saying just be reasonable. Don't run after your provision. Don't forget Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the purpose of your existence and run after your provision. Don't be heedless of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and possessed with, with love in this life and saving money. But be heedful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And know that Allah Ta'ala will provide for you. Allah Ta'ala brought you from non-existence to existence. And He will provide for you. In the Quran, Allah Ta'ala denoted to this fact when He said, Allah, your Lord, is Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Alladhi khalaqakum, He is the one who has created you. Thumma razaqakum, and He is the one who will provide for you. ثُمَّ يُمِيتُكُمْ ثُمَّ يُحِيكُمْ And he's the one who will, who will take your soul. And he's the one who will resurrect you again in the day of judgment. So have trust on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Furthermore, the risk or the provision of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a nature. That it is sometimes it might come late. It might be delayed. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, لا يحملنكم استبطاء الرزق على أن تطلبوه بحرام. Do not let the lateness of the provision of Allah Taala. Don't let that to force you to do or to seek it from a haram or a forbidden method. Fear Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. The risk provision might be late, but be patient. And wait for your provision, Allah Ta'ala will give it to you. But never seek it from that which is haram. 
Because if you seek from that which is haram, first of all, Allah Ta'ala will not answer your dua. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he spoke about the man who, who will raise his hand in the heavens saying, Oh Allah, forgive me. Oh Allah, oh Allah. And he said that that man, he travels a lot. And that man as well, he is very humble. He is covered with, with dust. Despite that, Allah Ta'ala will not respond to him because his food is haram. He said, Asallam, wa mat'amu haram, mashrabu haram, wa ghudiya bil haram. His food is from haram. His drink is from that which is unlawful. And his nourishment is from that which is unlawful. فَأَنَّا يُسْتَجَابُ لَهُ How Allah Ta'ala will respond to him? Allah Ta'ala will never respond to him. How should we conduct ourselves in light of this attribute? That Allah Ta'ala is our provider. First of all, we shouldn't look at that which is not, of, which is not belong to us. We shouldn't look at the provision of other people. We should be content with that which Allah Ta'ala has given to us because Allah Ta'ala is the all provider and He is the one who gives and the one who takes. We should be content with whatever Allah Ta'ala has given to us. We should always rely upon Allah Ta'ala and seek provision. And we should not seek provision in that which is haram. Secondly, we should use as well the, 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 the methods that will increase our provision. Allah Ta'ala in the Quran and Nabi Sallam in the Sunnah, they told us about the actions that will increase our provision. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, if you tie the bones of kinship, if you are good to your relatives, Allah Ta'ala will increase your uh, wealth and your provision. مَنْ سَرَّهُ أَنْ يُنْسَأَ لَهُ فِي رِزْقِهِ وَيُبْسْطُ لَهُ فِي رِزْقِهِ If you, intend, if you want Allah Ta'ala to extend your provision and to multiply your provision, and to extend your age, then tie the bonds of kinship. Fear Allah Ta'ala and He will extend uh, your provision. Whoever fears Allah Ta'ala, Allah Ta'ala will find him a way out from all troubles. And Allah Ta'ala will provide for him a sustenance beyond his expectation. So fear Allah Ta'ala and be mindful of Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala. And I ask Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala to increase our knowledge and to increase our iman and to make us righteous and i see you inshallah ta'ala i see you inshallah ta'ala again in the next episode of the uh, best of knowledge wa sallallahu wa sallam abina muhammad wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh